Many organizations use forms to manage uh, various business processes within the organization from simple things, form submission to travel requests, um, to timesheets, or uh, master data change requests. Uh, th these sorts of processes are often managed by forms, and these forms are often standalone forms. Uh, what I want to show you is an example of um, leveraging SharePoint's InfoPath form technology where it's integrated in with SAP to create a very simple end-to-end -end process that encapsulates the data lookups from SAP, the actual processing of, or submission of a transaction in SAP, and uh, leveraging SharePoint workflow to route the form internally f to get the necessary approvals. So um, quite a lot of, yeah, you know, quite a common problem within any organization's form-based processes is, you know, remembering the right uh, master data and you find a lot of people in cubicles have little post-it notes of, of account details and, and the like. So I'm just going to run a, you know, a, a text search for a vendor that I know starts with BER. The system's gone back to SAP in real time and returned a list of vendors with BER in the name. I'm just going to select a vendor. And what it's done is it's returned to the form all the master data information that's come off the vendor master record. What it's also done now is populate the other lookups. So rather than remembering payment terms, these are payment terms that are configured against the vendor master record in SAP, uh, much like a ship to party, select a ship to party, um, select a delivery date. Let's select that for next week. Um, type in a description of item I'm going to select. And again, rather than remembering the cost centers, I know that I'm going to charge this to uh, the finance cost center. I don't know what it is, so I'll just go and search for it. And uh, GL account, well, something to do with telephones, so we'll go and search uh, search SAP for the um, telephone account cost centers that are in there. And um, if I've got an SAP license and I hit the submit, it'll go and create the transaction. But I could also use this sort of form for people who don't necessarily have SAP uh, licenses, where I can just simply uh, allow people to compile a business process request form in SharePoint routed to the necessary SAP user who can then finalize the data entry, um, yeah, approve the entry and hit the submit button to go and create the transaction. Once the form is submitted and uh, the SAP transaction has is, is been created in the back end, we can get a return from SAP to, uh, to the form uh, with uh, with an update on on the transaction, the, one of the benefits of using SharePoint forms is uh, is the forms themselves can be used in an offline capacity. You can actually cache certain lookup information. People can complete the form and uh, synchronize later on. IQX Business Solutions has a comprehensive range of um, typical business process forms. Um, from purchase requests like I've just, just demonstrated to master data maintenance where there's complex uh, multi-dimensional um, approval uh, or, or several approval steps within a form. These can all be managed in SharePoint through to expense submission, travel request submission, etc. Feel free to visit our website www.iqxbusiness.com. We have a range of available off-the-shelf template solutions including uh, InfoPath form solutions for SAP and SharePoint web parts for SAP. We are also quite happy to work with people to do custom uh, projects involving SharePoint SAP integration. Thank you very much.